join Joshua Hinland here at Brickfest in Lima, Peru, and today we're taking a look at this massive medieval castle battle layout that we have behind us here. There's so much going on with hundreds of minifigs on display, so we've got the builder right here if you want to introduce yourself and then we can go through the whole layout. Hi, I'm Fabrizio. Well, this is my castle layout. It's called Starling City, and it's about between 500 and 600 minifix. I'm, I'm not sure because I didn't count it. I just put it there. I just finished putting it there to, today. So, well. Do you, do you know how long the whole layout is? It's a, in base plates. It's, I think, 19 base plates by six base plates of width. Yeah, it's massive here. So let's start at the, the end where we're standing by right here and tell us about what we have going on. Well, here I do some, some sets, standard sets that I just and put it there, and, and, and it's like a, a, like a, the bad side. A, the, there's some skeletons in there, and, and, and some uh, Vladek, the castle of Vladek here, that are, are, are here with some some skeletons in in, in the part of, of the of this ship that is a mock of the Black Pearl that I just got from uh, from a web page that is Brickstruct, and I, I I just built it because I, I I like it. I put the the skeletons there. They just climb it, and, and they're they're going to to the fight, right? Then in the right side is the the ogre uh, castle with some humans, bad humans side, right? With some uh, spiders also on it, okay? And well, in the, in the water you can see the, the skeletons are going to fight some mermaids. <laughs> the mermaids have some swords like an algae. Uh, uh, the, the, the green thing... The oh, like algae. Yeah, algae. Like algae weapons on it. Okay, they're, they're fighting the, the skeletons. And well, some, some other uh, some other ships are joining the, the battle there, right? And in the middle, I just wanted to put some, some in there, some dragons that are, f that are flying there. And, and I, I, I use that, that transparent piece that I find it useful for this kind of stuff, right? They're getting in on the battle as well here. Yes, definitely. <laughs> We can keep walking down then, and let's see what we have as we make our way onto land. Okay, here is the battlefield, the big battlefield that, that I use. Here you can see flying some harpies. I use some uh, brick. It's brick warriors uh, custom minifix, uh, not minifix uh, accessories, right? Yeah. And then there's you can see the, a whole range of different kind of of minifix. You have the ogres. You have the black, uh, the black minifig of the the soldier that comes in the minifig. Some ninja goes. Some sets of, of, of the castle medieval era. The the trolls. Some Lord of the Rings stuff. Some even some Chima stuff I put in there, and and the, also the you can see the 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 docks of Lord of the Rings. The works with, with also some some minifigs on it. It's it's a massive thing that I I just put today in my mind because when I built it, I, I, I didn't put all the minifigs when I built it in my house. And so today uh, I started at 8 a.m. in the morning. I, I ended at 1 p.m. I think finishing. And, and since I was putting the bags, I was putting just the minifigs wherever they went. And in my mind, I just tried to focus on and show what is there, right? Also here in the, in the good side, you can see a range of, of old Castle minifigs, different different kinds of castle, right? And in the in the in the in the entrance of the of the castle here, you can see this is the the, the female part. Right? There's a lot of ladies there that are going to fight, join the fight. Some Vikings also I put in there, right? Always love the Viking minifigs. Yeah, yeah. And I, I got some one and and some of them, and I, I also fill it with another custom ones to have a little little army on there. So then, if we continue here on the good side, we have here some archers on the on the top of the trees, on these trees that I the custom trees that I made, and well, and and there the, there's a forest in there. But then you can see some some wizards doing doing their their stuff in there, some different armies walking here. Here's like a, a, a enchantress doing their thing. I like that. It's like a throwback to the old forest men theme. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, yeah. That's that. That's the main th reason that I made this. But but I don't have fix of, of that era. They are very difficult to, to to get on. 
Uh, you can see he, he's so wolf pack here in the, in the, on the horse that it's an old one also. Uh, also here you can see a range of different stuff, different castaleras that I just put in there and mix it. Some, some dwarves also I, the, the, there and there's a mine there that they are working also. The dragons and here we have the, uh, the just, right? I just two of the just sets and put it together and make a small uh, here uh, a scene of that what is happening day to day when they are they are doing a just in there. No matter how massive the battle is out here, the jousting is still going on inside. Well, it, it's it's like think of different uh, different parts of the days they are happening. Yeah. So so uh, if if it's a battle day there, we're not going to doing a just, you know. Because they will be all just hiding in the castle, maybe, right? And then, well, we continue. You can see they are going out of the castle to join the battle there, right? And uh, here, some dragons taking flight, other f others flying. And here is just the common people, village, walking between the, the, sea, the, the medieval village here that I have. With some, also some sets and some custom stuff that I they mix there with, for example, that city status, I use it in, in, in like a fountain in there in the middle. There's a book where you can build your own castle and I use that as inspiration. I build my castle using that. This, this one is, if you can see it's, it's whole, you can, you can turn it apart and you can build it. Oh, it's like a modular yeah, system. It's, it's, it's the one, I think there, there was a guy that done one last, just very, very last. And I, I took, there's a book that you can use this. And I used the book and I did it in this way. I like it, the way. There's a lot of minifix there. A lot of ladies minifix. I love the minifix of the ladies. And if you can see in my village, there's a lot of women walking there. Because, uh, for example, you can see here in white, in yellow, it's the frozen guy, frozen <laughs> ladies there. I also did it in that way. I, I, I love it. And the other side, you can see the farm, the animals. There's some some stuff, the the common uh, stuff that happened in a in a medieval village. And I made some custom. Uh, the farm, the barn, for example, is a custom from the Lego standard set. So uh, I think it was quite good at the end. Yeah, there, there's a lot going on. Uh, it's it's really amazing. How long have you been working on this whole layout? Well, I started doing it on, on my living room from here to here, the, the green part. I did it in, in, in my living room. I put it on the floor and I think it was uh, between two weeks that I was working on the nights and some hours and some weekends doing putting just the buildings and the, and the trees, right? I didn't put any, any minifig because it was going to be crazy. So the minifig stuff just came today. It's, it's, it's the invention of today. And then after that, I, I pack it up, everything, and start working on the other side. The other side also was two weeks, I think, and on the weekends and, and days and nights, thinking what I'm going to do with that. And then I finish it and I put it together on the, bo and the boxes that we bring it. Well, yesterday I was working from 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. in the morning, and I just left the, the buildings. And today, as I already told you, from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., I finished putting all the minifix. So it was great. I, I still I don't know how I'm standing. <laughs> but that's how you know it's a good show when you've really put all that work in. <laughs> yeah, I, and, and the good thing is people see it and people like it and say, oh, they, they look the different different things that I put. In. For example, there in the forest, there's some rabbits and, and, and cats and, and, and some kind of animals. Different. Or, or maybe there's a minifig that nobody sees. For example, this one, you can see this is a strange minifig for a medieval village. So I put different stuff so people, the people that likes to, 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 look, uh, to look at it, they, they found different stuff on it. Yeah, it's nice, fun details like that. So what are, what are some of your favorite night minifigures, like specifically the ones on the horses here? Because you've got different eras and stuff involved there, and I always love seeing the, the different armors and everything that LEGO has released over the years. It's very difficult. I, I, li I like the, the ones that are colors, the, the violet, the purple, the purple, the green, the red one, that ones. I like, I like that. That one's very much. 
I hope Lego starts again the castle thing. Really, there's yeah, a lot it's of. It's been people. a long time. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time, and there's a lot of people that want it, right? So, let's hope they 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 pick it up again. But you know, there's a lot of people that loves castle. It's like space, I think. People of space also, it's, they're waiting anxiously that space c must come back, and so castle must come back again. So, let's hope castle hear our prayers. And then at the very end, we have some Lord of the Rings uh, builds from you as well yeah. here. Yeah, the, this build is, these two buildings are just custom builds that I picked out also from Rick Strad page. And I build it because I love Lord of the Rings, okay? So it's amazing. So I just put here some minifix of, uh, for example, here is the Hobbit, the, the, the Lord of the Rings, and, and I put a building there. This is the Minas Tirith Citadel. It's a small one, but it's a nice one that I, I, I love it. I love it, the way how, how it looks, and so I said, I must do it. As you can see, there are some uh, yellowish white pieces that, well, I think it, it's a nice touch because no, not all buildings are white, just white, very white. So very new, it doesn't look, look like a real city for me, so I put, I mix it. And also, I mix it because I didn't have all the white. So you just got some of those yellow age pieces, and yeah, you just gotta yeah. throw them in. And so I throw it on there, and that's it. And, and I finish that. And this is the Tower of Sauron. That is massive. It's huge. So for bringing here, it's in three parts that you can you can move mobilized. And here you can see a Nazgul with a Witch King. That this this one is a design from uh, from a fellow from here from the log he made a lot of dragons you will see it in other of your videos I, I think you're going to the to see the dragons and you will see what kind of dragons he have but he he made a spectacular dragon uh, nazgul here that i love that so well i put it there because you know it gives a, a, a kind of you have the sauron tower and the witch king from the movies and it's 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 pretty it's nice to have it here right yeah. and at the end i have uh, some custom mock of the council of everyone there with the uh, where they they join to to see the the initial uh, decisions to to go to to Mordor to destroy the ring. Right? It's, I made a small custom mark. Good thing. One thing to know is uh, if we go to back to the towers, you can see there's a lot of detail in the. This is the Saruman standard Lego set, right? I put it here as a to compare the the sizes of the tower because Saruman Tower is smaller than the the Tower of Mordor. The, Baradur Tower. As you can see, as I'm telling you, you can see a lot of detail on it. There's a lot of detail inside the mug, so that's other the stuff that I love a lot. That they have a pretty a lot of detail on, on it, so it's it's amazing. And and, and with this, I I, I had to be <laughs> I had to tell the truth. There's a lot of pieces that I didn't have in black, so I just. Uh, paint spray so, and it's paint spray some of the pieces you can see there's some opaque thing that is not it looks like it's not the, the black so well a little bit of customization yes yes uh, you know I, I some people doesn't like it but well i did it in that way so so i i can finish it for the uh, i almost have this one year already and this is the first time that, that, that i'm showing it to in in, in a show and the minas city also have some detail on it right that also i loved it I love the detail that is in there that gives you a perspe different perspective of, of the city, right? And well, and Lord of the Rings is one of the things that I love much and I love that Lego got some sets. Unfortunately, they, they didn't f uh, follow with it and there's a lot of stuff that you only can find it as custom now. Those sets did have some, some awesome pieces and minifigs and everything in them. So, yeah, this is so great. I'm glad you could bring out the Lord of the Rings as well as your massive uh, medieval layout. Thank you so much for talking us through everything. Thank you. Thank you.